It certainly is a hot day across western Montana with highs in the upper 90s and low 100s and we're likely to see this again on Wednesday and this is because the ridge of high pressure over the area is really reaching its peak. But as we get into Thursday, you'll notice this ridge is going to start to flatten out just a little bit and this is going to lead to an increase in winds. We're going to see those winds picking up anywhere from 20 to 30 miles per hour and unfortunately low humidities and wind plus hot temperatures we're likely seeing those fire weather concerns increase. And unfortunately, there's one more factor that's going to lead to increased fire weather conditions, and that is the chance of some dry thunderstorms, especially in southwestern Montana as we get to the latter parts of the week. I'll have more details about what we can expect for tomorrow as well as later on in the week coming up here in a few minutes. Back to you in the studio. We're also taking a look at the health impacts from the heat. While outside your body heats up, it can cause heat illness over an extended period of exposure. According to the EPA, heat illness causes around 1,300 deaths a year. St. Patrick's Hospital in Missoula says heat stroke is rare in their ER, but heat-related illnesses are common, especially on hot, humid days. There's a whole spectrum of heat illness, which ranges from mild things like heat cramps, uh, progressing to things like heat exhaustion, where people develop like fatigue, uh, nausea, symptoms like that, uh, all the way to heat stroke, which is more serious and potentially even life threatening. If you or someone you're with is exhibiting symptoms of heat stroke, including unresponsiveness, confusion, or an altered mental state, call 911 immediately. Older adults are most vulnerable when it comes to the heat, and if alone, help, though, is available through the Missoula Aging Services, where workers are staying in touch with seniors. We offer a daily check-in through our Meals on Wheels program. So every day our volunteers are going out in the community, they're knocking on the door, they're talking with the individual in their home, and they're checking on them and making sure that they are okay, that they have everything that they need. Along with the Meals on Wheels program, in the past, fans uh, have been provided for those without AC if requested. They also stress the importance on checking in on loved ones and neighbors during this hot weather. Older adults are more susceptible to heat stroke, especially if they're taking certain medications. If you're interested in helping out, call Missoula Aging Services. And whether you're outside or staying indoors, just count on the NBC Montana Weather app to keep track of this extreme heat. It's always free in your App Storm.